Hi lovelies! So today I want to talk about something that I've just been going through and experiencing and um, I was going through some drawers and cleaning up and just getting things organized and I found this letter from an ex-boyfriend and I dated him in a uh, probably one of the hardest times of my life. Um, and as a couple, we went through some of the hardest things that you can experience in life. And I don't actually know how we stayed together through those things, but it ended up just getting really bitter and a lot of resentment on both sides and just ended really badly. I was a really mean person in that time of my life and um, just extremely codependent and keeping all of my emotions inside and kind of taking them out on him and so he's kind of a person that I really think about and um always wish that like he's doing really well in his life and happy and um just always thought he was a great guy and so I read this letter and it's crazy how at the time when I read this letter I was like Oh, I don't want to deal with this just because I've had so much going on with my health and like my anxiety and inside of me and holding everything in and trying to be perfect and um and then reading it now it like I just it made me hysterically cry like I just I just lost it like it was such a sweet letter and reading it now was just like oh my gosh like if someone wrote this letter to me now I would so appreciate it and cherish it and think it was the most amazing romantic thing ever and it's just crazy how a couple years can change your view on everything but I got so frustrated because he is someone that I think about quite often and my mom and him were pretty close and she mentions him and wonders how he's doing and I could not find him for the life of me and it was hard because I called him his full name so but that's not what he goes by so it was so hard for me to find him and like it was just so frustrating because in this day and age with social media like it's generally not that hard to find people but um I called my friends like hysterically crying and gave them like bits and pieces here and there like kind of what he did for work and that he traveled and a, a last name and they like pieced it together through my crying and they found him and I messaged him and it just was like such a relief like I can't even really explain it like he, he messaged me back and it was just really awesome to contact him again and I'm excited to um, hopefully continue to talk to him but who knows, but just the fact to be able to reach him was such a relief. I can't even explain it. I don't know, maybe you guys have experienced something similar where you search for someone, maybe from like your childhood or um, an old babysitter or an old boyfriend or something like it's just, oh, it's such a relief and I am really glad that he wrote back, um, but just being able to see that he's like alive and well and looks well and um, was just such a huge relief. And but it's weird too because like I don't really know what to say. Like he kind of was like, "Why? What made you think to like contact me?" And I don't want to be like, "You wrote me this love letter and it really like touched my heart and I like really want to apologize for being so cruel to him and so mean and but I don't think that that's like really appropriate for a first conversation so um I just like chit chatted with him but in the back of my mind I'm screaming like I'm so sorry I was such excuse my language but I was I was such a bitch to him and um and he's just a good guy and I just really carry that around with me a lot um just the way I treated him and whatnot so um and I think like and then remember I was really conscious like the whole conversation because when you talk to like ex-boyfriends it's very easy to get back into old patterns and so I was very conscious like to not use emotional manipulation because I use that a lot on him in our relationship it just kind of was like really a huge part of it 
And um, so I was like really cautious not to do that, to like not emotionally manipulate him. And so um, I don't think I did, but it's so hard. And I still keep on wanting to go back and like emotionally manipulate to like get him to talk to me more or something. But um, yeah, it was just really nice. So I don't know if you guys have experienced that, like really like searching for someone and not being able to find them and being so frustrated and um, but I would love if you would comment down below about it, and, um, so I guess it was just, like, a little story time with me, so, you're welcome. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to share that, but that's what's on my mind today, so, yeah. I'm still recovering from the dinner the other night, but it's okay. Um, hopefully I'll be hanging out with my friend Monica and painting, which I love doing, but um, depending on how I feel. And still no computer, so long, drawn out videos with no editing. I'm sorry. Hopefully tomorrow, or else I might start hurting people. So, I love you guys, and I'm sending out X double O's, and I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day, and as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow.